Hey, welcome to Climber Dad. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to put out a lot of content on how you can uh, do your own climbing walls, climbing holds, and progress in your climbing art. When I started climbing, there was no such thing as a systems board. So the kilter boards, the moon boards, the tension boards, those things that are developed now where you can climb with somebody that's around the world. It just wasn't there and it's a super cool idea and I really love it. Um, what was there is a, a lot of guys like myself that was far away from any climbing gym, we had woodies. It was, we called them woodies because they were built out of wood and it's just in your garage or basement or underneath your tree. Uh, or in an apartment. Now apartments have a really, that's a really difficult place to build a climbing wall because you can't really attach or change the structure of the building. You need to leave it so when you leave, everything leaves with you and you're not leaving big holes. So I started building these, uh, what I call a lean-to wall uh, back then and it will work extremely well in making it a systems board. So I wanted to show you how I went through in making this board. I'll go ahead and show you some of the anatomy of it right now. Now when I built this, I have designed it right here with the kicker board down here on the bottom on hinges. And I have five hinges going all the way across and that's so it's adjustable. Now I can adjust the kicker board. I can keep it, I can make it straight or I can put an angle on it by adjusting where this board right here attaches down here and up here. Okay, and that'll change, you can change that. Another adjustment is with these ratchet straps. So you have a ratchet strap here, attaches at the base of the wall and then comes out at the, at the leg. Now for these legs you need a minimum of a two by six. Do not use a two by four unless you're really light and you're not planning on having anybody um, big on your wall. Uh, it's three quarter inch plywood. I try to use a hard hardwood plywood. Uh, this is an oak plywood that I got at Home Depot and it works out really nice. It's been uh, really fun to work with. And then behind the wall, it's all built with two by sixes. I wanted this to be super sturdy. So I've got two by sixes all the way across at 16 inch centers. This is eight feet wide and eight feet tall. And then the kicker board is 16 inches tall, eight feet wide. You can make this in a day if you have some skill in carpentry already. And it'll come together. You'll be able to have this sweet little systems board of your own for pretty cheap. So as you can tell, this is back there. But you can stack up four sheets and drill through four sheets at a time. So instead of drilling just one hole, you're drilling four holes with the same effort. All right, so I just wanted to explain a little bit about what this cross piece is doing here. When you're setting up a frame and you want to make it square, you go off of one of your corners, just one of your corners. When you go three, four, five on the diagonal, 
that gives you a perfect 90 degree square. So, this is trick. Three, four, five. There it is, a lean-to systems board that you can build in a day. Uh, it is two and a third sheet of plywood. There is 14 two by sixes and a bunch of screws. I'll have a list down in the description below. If this is your first time at this channel, please hit the like and subscribe button if it has helped you out. And we'll see you next time right here on Climbing Dad.